Well, hi, boys and girls. It's Mr. Wasman, and today we are going to be looking at some number story problems that involve mixed numbers. We are in our home links, Unit 8, Lesson 9. Let's read the uh, number story premise uh, to get started. Dan and Diane's doghouse dynasty builds doghouses to order. Wow, that's a, a bit of alliteration right there. They can change the length and width for doghouses, but they always build them to have the same height. Solve the number stories about dog houses built to certain widths and lengths based on the information given in the table. Use drawings or equations to show how you solved each problem. So this table gives us some lengths and widths. Uh, so these problems are, uh, let's say, area adjacent, but they really don't deal with area. Now there are only two number story problems here, so I'll make you a deal. I'll do one for you, and then you do one on your own. Let's take a look at number one. It says, Mrs. Swift ordered three medium-sized dog houses. What will their combined width be? Now, some important information in this problem. Is they say there are three medium-sized dog houses. What will their combined width be? When I see the word combined, I know that that means I'm going to be adding some numbers together. Okay. So what am I going to be adding? So I have to look at my table right here at the medium doghouse dimensions right here. And it shows me that width and feet is one and three-fourths feet. Okay. So simply put, this problem is one and three-fourths plus one and three-fourths plus one and three fourths equals, we'll say, C for combined, okay? Now, when I have multiple add-ins that are the same, I can just take this problem and multiply it, right? So, one and three-fourths plus one and three-fourths plus one and three-fourths is really three times one and three-fourths. but either approach will find you your answer. So let's do it both ways. Okay, so if I set this up as an addition problem, I want to line up all of my add-ins vertically so I can keep track of the columns. Now remember, a mixed number is a number built with multiple place values. The fractional parts are considered to be a place value. So 3 fourths plus 3 fourths plus 3 fourths added together is going to give me a total of 9 fourths because we only add the numerators when the denominators are the same. When the denominators are different, we have to convert to uh, uh, equivalent fractions before we can add. So 9 fourths. Then I'm going to add my whole numbers, which give me 3. And, uh, and this gives us this uh, awkward number 3 and 9 fourths now number can't stand because you can't make a mixed number with an improper fraction. So we're going to take 9 fourths and do something about it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out how many groups of 4 I can get out of 9. So I'm going to divide 9 by 4. Now if you've got your mental math multiplication facts uh, uh, down pat, you'll know that you can get about 2 groups of 4 out of 9 because 2 times 4 is 8. And that's going to leave you a remainder of 1, otherwise known as 1 fourth. So 3 and 9 fourths is the same as saying 3 and 2 and a fourth, which of course gives us 5 and 1 fourth. So now let's look at this problem as a multiplication problem. I'm going to take the number of my add ins, 3. And multiply the add in 1 3 fourths like so. 1 and 3 fourths is a number with multiple place values, so I'm going to approach this like a multiplication problem with uh, large digit numbers. 1 and 3 fourths times 3. If I use the partial products approach, I'm going to multiply 1 times 3, and I'm going to multiply 3 fourths times 3, and of course. As you can probably already see, 
I'm going to get the same results as I did with my addition problem. When I add those partial products together, of course, 3 and 9 fourths, that wonky number won't work, so I need to make that equal 5 and a fourth. And that's how I get my answer. If I take three dog houses and set them up side by side, they're going to be a total of five and one fourth feet wide. Now before we go, let's take a look at one of these practice problems down at the bottom. Multiplication with fractions. Now again, as long as you remember that when I multiply a fraction by a whole number, I'm just multiplying the numerator and doing nothing with the denominator. Let's take a look at number five. If I multiply nine and six hundredths, I'm counting how many hundredths I have. It's kind of like if I were counting pennies. If I had nine groups of pennies and there were six pennies in each group, how many pennies do I have total? Well, nine times six is 54. So that would give me 54 hundredths or 54 pennies. Okay. I'm hoping that at this point in your fourth grade career, this fourth grade curriculum is coming easier and easier. Um, this is a, a, a home links that incorporates a lot of the skills that we have accumulated over the past year. Um, if you're still a little unsure about some of this stuff, well, you need to talk to your math teacher. Now more than ever, because if you're working on this assignment, chances are we are in the uh, tail end of your fourth grade career, uh, rounding third and heading towards home. Pretty soon you're going to be off to fifth grade, and so you need to uh, make sure that you are confidently entering fifth grade with all the knowledge and skills that you need. So if uh, you have questions, ask them. Your math teacher is there to help you. I hope this video was helpful in some way. Uh, until we talk again, friends, have a good day. Thanks.